with, guys. Today we're going to hop right on into uh, the Chicago Bears over under uh, video today. I uh, got the schedule pulled up right here, and I do believe the Chicago Bears had the most over bets as well, and they had the most under bets. So a lot of people are betting on the Chicago Bears, and maybe because the hype around Justin Fields is they're saying he can have a potential breakout season like Jalen Hurts. Uh, they got a nice receiver, DJ Moore, and in the lineup, they've drafted a nice line lineman to protect Jay, Justin Fields. Um, Daryl Mooney, and you got Clay, Chase Claypool. You got a couple of other running backs that's back there. Um, they're going to be running the ball a lot. I think Justin Fields said he's trying to throw for 4,000 yards as well. Um, so we're going to see about that. Uh, I don't know if he's going to do that, but I know his prop for passing yards is about 28. Um, but this prop right here for the Chicago Bears is over under seven and a half wins. Uh, I can see why people are picking over because I'm already after the first couple of teams. I'm just looking at they have the Falcons winning eight and a half, and they have the Panthers winning eight, seven and a half. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, Cardinals winning five, so they, I think they're giving some teams a little buffer room with an extra game. Kind of think about it. Some teams are kind of right on the money. I think this is kind of right on the money. So let's dive right into it. They won one preseason game. Um, average about 17, 20 points. Uh, not too shabby. This is week one. I do think it's going to be a tough game versus the Packers. Um, I do think Chicago Bears will pull this game out. Um, I don't think Jordan Love, uh, he, you know, he, he should be prepared. But I think Justin Fields and DJ Moore is just – DJ Moore is a great receiver. I don't know if y'all don't know that. Um, but it's just Justin Fields going to throw it to him. Are they going to do the right play calls? They got a, 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 you know, a good scheme around it. Well, Jordan Love is making plays and getting the offense. They got the running backs. Still got Christian Watson. They got Jones and um, I forgot the other. Uh, I think I don't want to say the wrong last name for the Packers running back, but they got a two-head running back that's still doing numbers. Um, and the defense is pretty solid too. So that's going to be a great division matchup for Week One. I do think Bears will win though, one and zero. I do think they will win this game. For us, the Buccaneers, so two and zero. I do think they can drop the two and one here, three and one versus the Broncos. I think they can win this game here, three and one. Um, I don't know about the Broncos; they're pretty, they're pretty suspect to me. Uh, and you have the Commanders, uh, my team. Uh, this is a prime time game, night time. Uh, we're home. Commanders are home. Uh, I don't think the Bears will beat us. Um, it's going to be a close game. I think Sam Howell pulled this one off with our offense and our defense will be uh, ready for Justin Fields. But Justin Fields is a playmaker, man. He's, he can run the ball. And, you know, it depends if they're running the ball or if they make those plays quick, pass plays, or, you know, it depends how that game flows. And if our defense doesn't cover the legs, and we kind of usually get burned by the quarterbacks that run the ball, you know, he always has a chance to keep the, the drive going. It's be a close matchup. I do think commanders will win this game. So three and two, three and two right here, first five games. It's going to be another great in this uh, division matchup. I do think the Vikings will pull this one away. And I think they might split. So let's say they let's say the Bears pull the first one off. I do think they're going to split versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, so that will be four and two so far. I think I've given them a pretty good upper hand, too. They only lose to the Commanders and Chiefs out of the Bucks, Packers, Broncos, Vikings. The Raiders, uh, another one. They're four and two right now. The Bears are four and two up to this point. So let's see what they will do. Um, it'll be another close game, man. Uh, these are all moving close games with the Bears. Uh, I don't know. I think the Raiders will win this game, though. I think the Raiders will win this game. So they lose three in a row. They lose three in a row and start three and three. One, two, three, or four. Three and four. So they're now they're three and four right here. They walk won this one, won this one, won this one. They lose, 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 lose. Three and four. Got them three and five losing to the Chargers. Got them three and six losing to the Saints. Got them four and six versus the Panthers. Four and seven versus the Detroit Lions. They split this. They lost. They're gonna win this one. So five and seven. Um, five and eight. They're gonna lose to the Detroit Lions two times. They might win, but that that five and eight mark is right there on the cusp. Uh, they're going to – ooh, the Browns at the end of the season. I think they're going to lose to the Browns. That's about five and eight. Five and eight. 
Um, five and eight. They're gonna win this. So six and eight. They should win this. Seven and eight, and they're gonna probably split this. So this is right on the money with the the line pick. They're gonna win about seven to eight games this year. Just look at this schedule. They're gonna win about that much. So it's really gonna be about Justin Fields playing and. Or are they going to finish some games? I do think they could finish some games. They could finish some of those games. I do think they have those playmakers to do that. So I do think they will come out eight games. I don't, and I don't know. I don't know, bro. Because I'm looking at these schedules. Some of these teams, their division is pretty tight. Uh, the Lions, the Vikings, they're going to split one of those matchups. Um, so don't they think the Vikings and Lions are going to sweep them, sweep them or the Packers? So. And with that being said, they're if they're gonna win this spread by hitting those division games. Right or wrong? Uh take a look again. The other nine division Browns, they got the the Chiefs division, Browns, Raiders, Chargers, and they got the Browns is just the outlier team. They have the they have that division, then they have the AFC South Division. I think we're just a random team as well because they don't play Cowboys. Yeah, so Browns and Washington are random teams on this schedule. Um, they play this division, the AFC. I forgot what division that is, and they play this is the Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, and Chiefs, and they play the AFC South: Falcons, Saints, Cardinals, and then like I said, Browns and Washington are two outlier teams that I think they will lose those games. So, uh, like I said, the division wins will uh, help them surpass this total. And I do think they are going to win. And with that being said, we got a couple of these already still on the side. I'm going to go over those later. Um, but guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the Chicago Bears. If you're a Chicago Bears fan, uh, let me know if I picked right on these games. Uh, it's going to be a close. Uh, definitely be watching Justin Fields uh, throughout the weeks. Um, guys, uh, definitely tune in. We got more. Season highlights, we got more uh, challenges, we got more sports bet videos, we got more uh, news, podcasts, everything, media uh, for the uh, sport world. Uh, we just focus on NFL. I love the NFL, guys, and basketball season is coming too, but um, we're going to start off with football coming in hot. We're going to do all 32 team win totals. We got a couple more videos to make, uh, but guys, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys on the next episode.